Hey y'all, <clears throat> what's up? It's Honey. Um, so I asked you guys to send me um some of your questions that you guys wanted to ask me. Sorry, I'm about to adjust this right now. Um, you guys, I asked y'all to send me some of y'all questions, so you guys did, and I was like laughing at y'all questions all night. Trust me, I have a lot of questions, you guys. So I might have to do two videos. Um. First question I wanted to ask, I really wanted to answer this first. Like, I wanted to really touch this first. Um, the question is, I'm not going to do names because some of these questions are personal, so I don't want to, you know, throw your names out there like that. So I'm just, I'm not going to um, <clears throat> do names. I'm just going to read the question. Um, question is, I notice um, he's not loved. Um, this is about Prodigy. I notice that he's not loved by, by Princeton and probably the other... Um, uh, come on. Uh, do you basically? She's asking me. Do I think the boys all get along? Um, I was just talking about this last night. That's why I wanted to talk about this first. Basically, her question was, do the boys get along? Um, okay. So like I was telling my friends last night, a prime example with me and Candy. You guys know who Candy is. We are. <clears throat> our friendship are, is very good. If you was to see how me and Candy act together. You'll be like, wow, you're mean. And it's not like that at all. It's just because we understand each other and we get each other. And that's how we act with each other. Okay, when we do our videos together, that's just like a snip of how we act together. Um, prime example. I, <laughs> this is so mean. <laughs> she was making a sandwich. <clears throat> you know, she loves, she, she's, she's a fat little greedy thing. Okay, she's greedy. She puts all this stuff on her sandwich. It's packed up the meat can barely freaking fit on the sandwich mustard all this crap and then you know i waited i'm just watching her I'm watching her the whole time while she's making this perfect sandwich in her mind the perfect sandwich and she's making it and as soon as she goes to pick it up to eat it i walk by and i go smack right on her hand and i keep walking see if you was there and you saw me do that to her you'd be like Honey, that was so mean. Why would you do that? But what she did was, <laughs> you got me, you got me. She lied. So that's how our friendship is. So what I'm saying is, we why I put that as an example. What I'm saying is that we don't know exactly for sure how MB acts when it's just MB. <clears throat> so we might see a snippet of how they act when, um, you know, when they're by themselves. When they can probably can be like, just like me and Kenny, they could be doing crazy things just like that. Or, you know, they could be, um, they can be actually being mean to Prodigy. But I don't think that's, I don't think that's the case at all. Because we don't know for sure how they act when they're alone. So, I don't want to say that they're just mean, mean, mean to him or that they don't like him. Because Princeton always say that they are brothers. Kenny, that's my sister. But I love messing with her. Like, I love it. So, you know, and, and they're boys. So, it's different. Um, I do not think uh, the boys dislike Prodigy. I don't think that at all. I think they all love each other. I just think that um, their their um, connections are different. I think. I think um, they might like they might like to gang up and stuff. Cause I saw an interview with Rock when they was all making fun of Rock. Like you know, it's it's just them. I just think that we just see a snippet of how they act behind closed doors. So no, I do not think that at all. I don't think that at all. Um, next question, you guys, let me go into my inbox. Okay. Um, question is, um, what was the most ratchetest thing <laughs> you ever seen, slash heard, that fan done? To MB from a meet and greet on concert. What was the most ratchet thing I ever saw a fan do to MB or <laughs> at a meet and greet? <laughs> I think the most ratchet thing was them screaming Ray Ray name so ghetto. I think that was the most ratchet thing I saw at a meet and greet ever. This guy was like, Ray Ray! Ray Ray! I know he hit me. I know he hit me. Ray Ray! That was too much. That was too much. <laughs> I think that was the most righteous thing I ever encountered. Um, <clears throat> um, what? I don't think I ever 
heard anyone tell me something. I don't think so. Um, next question was, do the boys have um, siblings? Yes, they do. Rock, I think he has like a brother or something. I can't really, I really don't know too much with Rock. Um, Prodigy, yes, he has brothers and sisters. Um, Princeton, he he's he has no brothers or no son. He's the only child. And Ray Ray, he has um, brothers and sisters. And his mom just had a um a baby, a recent recent baby. So congratulations to them. Um, what else? Is Mindless Behavior looking for their Mrs. Right? Yes, they are. So, when you guys go out and see MB, act right. Don't go there acting ratchet. Don't go there acting all ghetto. Get a girl clap. No, don't do all that. Go there and be yourself. Present yourself. Because they are looking for their Mrs. Right. If they like what they see, they will have Keisha. They have Walter. They will have whoever. Go get that girl. Hold her, hold her until after this, cause I want to talk to her. I want to get her number. I want to, I want to see what her mind is. They are looking for that Mrs. Right, so keep that in mind when you go out and see them. Um, what type of girls do MB like? <sighs> what type of girls do MB like? Um, I'm not MB, so I can't say. <laughs> but okay, let's start with let's start with Princeton. Princeton. Definitely like a girl with some class. I get that vibe from him. I think he definitely like a girl with some class. A girl that's very smart. A girl that's very open. And a girl who likes to be herself. That can be herself. And doesn't mind being herself. Um, Radiji, he wants someone that's going to be, um, you know, someone that's laid back, that's cool and calm, just like him. Someone with a very great heart because he's very nice. He's the sweetest person I've ever met in my life. Um, you know, with a great sense of style and you know just someone that's going to be themselves they, they all want people who's going to be themselves and feel like they're beautiful inside out with prodigy you don't have to do the extra stuff you don't have to put on all the makeup you don't have to have the latest you don't have to do all that he just wants you he's want you know want to be with you with rock um he he wants to get with a coca-cola shape <laughs> you know um just someone that's gonna be cool someone's gonna Someone that's not afraid to be himself. Someone that's very book smart. He he loves smart girls. And, you know. And same with Ray Ray. He wants you to be on his level, too. Because Ray Ray, he's hyper, y'all. He, he really can be hype. So, he wants somebody to be on his level. Someone that's going to be funny, too. Because Ray Ray is very funny. So, someone that's funny. Um, What will MB do if a fan asks them, can they be a number one girl? Oh, <laughs> What would MB do if a fan was to ask them, can I be a number one girl? Okay, so, <laughs> y'all know I'm honest. Y'all know I am honest. God knows I am honest. I'm going to tell y'all some hot jump right now. Okay. I'm scared to say this because I don't want, I'm scared to say this. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really scared to say this. Um, if you was to say to Princeton, Oh, Princeton, I want to be your number one girl. Princeton's going to say either, depends on how, what he feel, what, he, what vibe he get from you. He's either going to say, say mindless. Or he's going to say, you already are. You know? He's going to say either one of them things. All depends on what vibe he gets from you. So, that's what, that's what I'm, I want to say more about that, but I don't want to put anyone under the bus. <clears throat> to another the bus so yeah I'm not gonna say anything else about that <laughs> uh, when you had a meet and greet do you pull aside one of the mindless fans wait yeah. okay yes yeah, so if, okay if you had a meet and greet whatever that and they feel like they want to get to know you more like your your one minute with them was just out of this world and they want to get more, know you more? Yes, they will. They will have um, one of the guards or security or someone hold you. Or um, if it's like towards the end, they will have, they will actually go out and find you if they really want to talk to you and they want to, you know, communicate with you. Yeah, they will do that. They definitely will. Um, will it be a great 
a bad idea to give Rock Roy a puppy as a gift because he loves animals. I think that is a that is a bad idea. I think. Okay. Let me tell you why I think this is a bad idea. Nine out of ten times when they have meet and greets, they're in a location where you cannot even have a dog near. You can't even smell like a dog to be inside that place. So I think that's a bad idea. And um, right now, I think because they're they're on the road a lot right now, they, they really can't have any animals and take care of and do all that stuff. So I think that's a really that's a bad idea. Um, not something right now for them to have. So maybe a, a plush. Plush doggy, you can have that. <laughs> Um, would it be a good or bad idea to make a video to MBS get? That is a great idea. Go ahead and do that. If you guys want to do that, go ahead and do that. That'd be a good way for them to see you. They can get a vibe from you and you say what you want to say. And don't make it real long, like five minutes, eight minutes tops. Don't make it real long. You know, they got time. You, you know, they got stuff to do. So, yeah, I think that's a really good idea. Go ahead, do that. Um, what day will the number one girl um tour start? I have no idea. Well, I can't say. I can't say. We can't say. Um. Wait, what question was that that I just read? Freak. Can't remember. Um. Oh, let's talk about this. The people who constantly as MB to follow them on Twitter and then 20 minutes later they're talking crap about them. I hate those people. I don't want to say hate. I just like them people. First of all, MB doesn't have to follow you if they don't want to follow you. And, um, that's just that. They don't have to follow you. to follow. And if you love them that much, you would not even try. No. Honestly, I think people do that just to get their attention. Honestly. That's the end of that. And that'd be for a whole nother brand new video. But that's just the end of that. Um, does Rock really have a big attitude? I heard he's really mean. Rock is not mean. He's not mean. A lot of people say Ray Ray's mean. Rock is not mean. It depends on... You guys understand, they're people. They are people. Not all the time they're going to be happy and jumping off the wall. They're people. They probably just come from the UK, where there's a whole different time zone, and they're coming here. Say it's like 12 o'clock... At night over there and they come here it's 10 o'clock in the morning they can't sleep no there's no sleep you want to get up you're going to wash your face you're going to brush your teeth you're going to wash you're going to change your clothes and you're going to go to this interview there's no sleep you're in a whole new time zone so now your body got to adjust to this whole new time zone that it just you know went through and they have to go out and do this other stuff so when you see maybe when you saw him he didn't get enough sleep maybe he was hungry because i know um my friends met mb when river was starving he was a he was just the nastiest and it's not because he wanted to be it's just that when you're in that mood you really don't want to be bothered i don't like i don't think any of them are mean none of them i just think it all depends on what day you catch them and how you caught them you know that's what i think so i don't think none of them are mean so you guys i'm about to end this video and start a new one so go check out part two and if you have anything you want to ask me email me at honey underscore dot at yahoo.com about to do another video